He's going to have to have a big game. They're going to throw the ball down low to close to their big guys and see if they can get it done. Scott Thornley is our referee about to toss the ball up. He does, and it goes to the Baylor Bears. And they get quality shots versus this zone of Baylor. Inside. Uh, on the floor, number one, played at uh, Putnam City High School in Oklahoma City. Collins. Nice dish to Aldridge. To the middle for about 45 minutes yesterday attacking this 1-1-3 zone you see Sharon Collins good penetration getting into the lane and finding Cole Aldridge and he said it is a total met metamorphosis on him he's really changed well that's the the number one difference between this Baylor team their balance on the offensive end good pass the two best post players on the bench here on the road he would take it with six minutes to go let me tell you something AC also he'll take what he's a 48% free throw shooter he just <laughs> as Collins knocks down the distance three lost it regained it Collins he's not selling for that jump shot he could have very easily taken that at the top of the key but his ability to put the ball on the floor and penetrate has been huge offensively for Kansas. Sharon Collins could have shot that ball, but his ability to get into the lane earlier in the first half, he was able to find Cole Aldridge and also Marcus and Markeith Morris down low underneath the basket. That situation, as you look at that dish that he had for Aldridge Ooh. early on in the ball game, then a little more gingerbread, and this time Marcus Morris. And then he hits the three. But my point is, he has only scored five points, but they have come, Hubert, in the last 60 seconds. And his ball club needed that lift. And they quickly got him to the bench with less than a minute to play. Collins with the runner, and he scores it. They really can create problems. Well, they do switch it up. They have a 1-1-3, one, one, a 2-3, and a 1-3-1. One, one. So sometimes you can't tell the difference. Morning Star takes the middle of the court, gets it off in the wing. Collins, yes, three. Morning Star, that's three assists for him to go with two steals. And that's why they like him into the lineup. He's a guy that's willing to make the extra pass. But he was doing the same thing in the Big 12 for Iowa State for a couple of years. Collins for three. Collins takes it away. Fouled on the way to the basket. And he'll shoot two. On Collins getting into a passing lane. And was able to get the get out in transition. This is something that Kansas hasn't been able to do on a consistent basis. Get fast break points. And Sean Collins uses his body, creates contact. You can't you can't uh, fault Tweety Carter for the, no, for the steal because it was a bad pass. I mean, he just jumped on that errant pass. The loss of the 10-point average per ball game. Uh, from it yesterday that uh, has really left him with some hurt is Collins on the runner well, he misses that one Cole Aldridge with the rebound and Sharon Collins with the three Collins again as much time as they can Collins for three wow. Lace Darius Dunn. No tip back. Collins comes away with it. And AC with the foul. And a young man who is standing at the free throw line, Sharon Collins, 25 points, 9 of 16, 4 assists. And right now, with this next point, with 54.3 seconds remaining, he can make it a six point ball game. Collins got that one as well. 